Hey guys, welcome to my channel or back to my channel. I'm Juliet and today we are doing a little girls day with my bestie. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop, but we wanna go somewhere other than Starbucks just because we want like the vibes. So we're gonna try to find somewhere. We're gonna dress up cute and take pictures and everything as well. So that's always fun, but she does have to work. So I'm gonna be left alone like soon after. So we're gonna still like pamper ourselves, have a good day, like get our nails done and things like that. So right now I'm just fixing my hair and then I'll show you guys my fit and everything. hair is greasy and I'm not vibing with it. Okay, I don't know if I'm feeling the vibe of the outfit. Like, the top is cute and the shoes are cute on their own, but they don't vibe together. So I'm gonna pick a different shirt, I think. We're gonna go with this gray shirt from Hollister with a little bow. It makes your boobs look so good and I think it will vibe better. So let's throw that on. So much cuter, you guys. Like, this is making you look snatched. I'm obsessed. So we have these Ugg Ultra Mini fake booties then these jeans from honey bum that are literally my favorite i cut them though because i'm a little short but i cut them a little too much um and then the hollister shirt a uh, necklace from kendra scott and yeah i might grab a claw clip just to throw my hair up just because it's a little oily but i think it's okay so cute i'm feeling myself okay now i'm gonna do my last touches i'm gonna put my perfume on but also like look at the flowers my boyfriend got me he sent them to my house and they're absolutely gorgeous but the perfume that i've been loving lately is britney spears fantasy it smells so good it's like literally perfect and it's just like sweet and like sultry and it's just like perfect i'm obsessed with this okay here's one more look at my outfit the boots are so cute i ended up putting nike socks because my jeans are a little short and then katie's gonna be here in like probably like five minutes so i am ready what because i'm cute and i'm a girl girlhood mom i'm so cute i think i'm a little obsessed with myself but it's okay my mom wants a brand deal for her birthday greedy okay She's here. Hi, I'm vlogging. This biddy is trying to say these were my candies. I ate, I ate one candy and I go to grab one because I thought, oh, a candy. <laughs> Flat. <laughs> I just wanted a candy. I'm so cakey, bro. Do you want to give her OOTD? No. Rude. How cute. No, your outfit's cute, bro. Thank you. I have to vlog. Um, I don't care. That was... Ooh, do I have sweat stains? No. Okay, anyways. um, That place was ugly inside. I went here before <laughs> and I recommended it because I thought it was pretty inside, but it's not. And so we're just going to go to Starbucks and get a picture that inside Starbucks. That's going to be so boring, though. Like, you know, she's at Starbucks. Like, that's 2016. We're posing with her coffee. Like, if you pose at Who a like, coffee shop, I care. I think I have a sinus infection, bro, because, like, I have, like, hard boogies on the inside of my nose. Like, hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I, um, I went to Starbucks and I hit the curb, and then two seconds later, it told me I have, like, low pressure. So I texted my mom, and I was like, oh, my God, I don't know why my car has low pressure in the tires. And then, um, so I was looking down, and I was texting her, like, oh, my God, low pressure. And then this guy, since the light turned green in, like, two seconds, he's blaring his horn. I don't care. I was in front of him, so I just blared my horn back, and I did it louder and prouder. Starbucks, you're manipulative. Oh my god, that's not- I tell people that all the time. I tell people that. That's not a compliment. Okay, I didn't vlog anything because I literally have been taking pictures for like an hour. But we got- what are these? The, the caramel brulee. I was looking at the sign, but we got the holiday drinks in the cups. And then I got a croissant, but... I already got a food baby. I always do. So I got home a little bit ago, and to make sure I didn't take a nap, I called my boyfriend. But since he's an iPad kid, he's like, I'm eating, and I want to watch my YouTube videos, so bye. And so I ended up taking a nap, but I took way too long of a nap, and the nail salon is closed. So I'm going to have to get my nails done tomorrow, but 
you can't really see them in this lighting but they're like this ombre pink and they're really grown out so we're gonna continue this vlog tomorrow and i'll see you then okay it is the next day and we are heading to the nail salon look how nasty i swear i wash my hands but like the underneaths are disgusting so we need to get in there now for you today. Hi, can I get a venti strawberry lemonade with no berries? Mm -hmm. And then can I do a grilled cheese extra toasted? No. Thank you. Yeah. And the grilled cheese. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Did you have a good one? Yeah. Okay, so I just got out of there. It literally took forever, but they look so good. Um, I'm obsessed. I've never done like the chrome color. And so they're like just like a really pearly, pretty color. I'll show you guys it up close. So gorgeous. Like look at these. I guess these are considered Hailey Bieber nails. Maybe, I'm not sure. They're almost a gray though, but like they're so pretty. I love them he always asks if i'm like off work and i do social media for a living so i never know what to say so i usually just am like yeah no work today when i'm literally filming him doing my nails but i don't know how to say like i film for work but i don't want him to think i'm just randomly filming him but i don't know how to like say it so i just do it he doesn't seem to care but like i don't know i just feel awkward but we're gonna head home I'm obsessed and my toes are the same. Excuse my dad, he's playing like rock star music downstairs, but this is my favorite snack ever. I get the tomato, no, red pepper hummus from Target. It's literally their brand. Target brand is literally bomb. Like if you get their salsas and stuff, like they have the best dips. And then wheat thins, the basil ones. Oh my God, so good. Also, this is good with like cucumbers and stuff. It's, just, it's so good. All right, so now I'm gonna clean my room. I just... I don't even want to show you guys. It is so bad. I don't know how my room possibly gets this bad. I think it's just because I have a small room and a lot of clothes, but it's just a wreck. First of all, this is my closet. Um, just pouring out. And then I'm done. That's all you're getting. So I'm going to clean my room and I'll show you guys the after. Okay, so I just got done cleaning my room. You're probably going to be like, Julia, your room is still not that clean. But that is because I focused on my closet a lot. And as you guys saw, there was clothes pouring out of it. So I hung everything up. I folded stuff. So that took a long time and a lot of energy. So the rest of my room might not be as clean as it could be. But it is much better. And I have nobody coming over um, tomorrow or anything. So we're okay. So this is my closet. I am actually very proud of it. You're probably like, Juliet, why is this side like blocked off? This side is always blocked off because... If I open my closet door, it hits, like, my dresser. So, on this side, I just have, like, a bucket of blankets and stuff. 
And yes, the clothes still go all the way down, but I put more of my, like, not every day or just, like, seasonal clothes that way. So, that's what that is. But, yeah, I have a bunch of hoodies and stuff in here. And then my socks are down there. And then the shoes that I wear the most are there. And then more shoes are in there. And then we have sweatpants, pajamas, jeans, jean shorts. And then I have a little step ladder so I can get them down because I always wanted to do this because I felt like it was smart and like an easier way to keep your stuff organized but i never knew like how was i gonna grab those step stool it's that simple and then i have like bathing suits in there and then some high heels and stuff in there so yeah that's my closet i'm very proud of her and then just like the rest of my room i know my bed is not made and i know this is a little messy too but i i don't know what to tell you but i wanted to show you guys so i got this blanket today at target and it's a heated blanket but it like is a cute one. Usually I cannot find any cute heated blankets. I mean, this is my other one, but it's like dingy and it's it's not that cute. But this one is adorable and it has, ooh, how to turn it on is really cool. Let me find it. So this is how you like turn it on and heat it up and like the different levels. And I think that's so cool because usually it's like this. Like I look like I'm at the old folks home with my like, I don't know, this looks like something in a hospital. So that is so bougie. And I don't it wasn't even that much more expensive. I mean, this was $50, but like I think that's usually the price of these. I love. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by Target, so I just actually really like this. So, yeah, that is the vlog. I think I'm going to end it there. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure this is the end of the vlog. Um, it's kind of all over the place, but I think it was still a fun little vlog for you guys. Also, this is Gerald. He's just chilling with me. Um, I made my boyfriend make this for me at Build-A-Bear with him when I was really mad at him. And so I, like, bought a bunch of expensive stuff for this bear. Like, it has a scent inside and stuff. And the lady at Build-A-Bear definitely thought we were toxic because I was just really mad at him. And I was like, what's the most expensive stuff I can put in this bear? Which is really mean when you think about it. But this is Gerald. That's how he was made. And then we thought someone stole them because we were at Cedar Point and I put them in a locker. And then when we went back to the locker, nothing was in the locker. And then we had to go to like the Lost and Found, whatever. I don't know what it's called. And then the guy was like, I have your bear. And I was like, thank you. Gerald almost like got lost on the first day of his birth, but he's still here. Um, So yeah, I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but I did. Bye. <laughs>